If you want to know how to stay productive during the corona self-isolation, stay tuned. So if you are a small or medium business owner, and most of my audience are, then you have a website for your business. Now, what are you doing at the moment? You're sitting at home for the next six months thinking, how can I salvage my business? What you want to be doing is going through your website, and I mean every single paragraph on every single page, and see how you can better the user experience and test all the systems, and I'll explain to you in a moment what that means. So better the user experience means go through it and say, okay, is there too much information? Uh, am, I, am I swamping the web page with too much, okay? A web page, as opposed to a blog article, should be minimal, should be absolutely minimal. So strip out all that copy content that you don't need. It's only gonna confuse people and bog them down. Remember, when you are looking at web pages, you wanna get the information you're looking for super quickly. The three second rule still applies in 2020. If you're not getting the information you need or the message you need in three seconds, the, the user is off, they've, they've moved on. So your web pages should be offering your message, delivering your message to your user in under three seconds via a video, via text, or via uh, still images. Now let's talk about the systems. Systems on your website can be something like the hook, the hook system to say, okay, give us your email and we'll give you a free download. That's a hook system that, that email goes to your mailing database. Uh, there's other systems where basically like a contact form, a contact form is a system. You wanna be testing those systems. Sign up to your contact form. Does the uh, contact come through to your email? I can't tell you how many contact forms have failed and typically because the, the hosting company will change a little setting on the server and then the contact forms aren't being delivered. Uh, it's, it's, it's a technical reason called an SMTP, but I won't get into that now. But contact forms can fail, guys. That's another reason that you always wanna have your email in the footer or the header of your website, okay? It's a backup to the contact form. But again, go through all your systems, test it, that they are working. Go through all the pages on your website, go through all the blogs. How can you better them? How can you make it stronger? You'll come across multiple, multiple opportunities to change your website. And believe me, I do this on uh, the ADM website, ozdigitalmedia.com. I do this on a daily basis, if, almost every single day of the year. I'll find something and just go, you know what, just polish it. I call it polishing the diamond. Now you wanna have your, your diamond so sparkly, so shiny, that it's, you know, people are drawn to it going, oh my God, this website's amazing. There's, there's so much to look at here. Now you can measure that. You can measure how shiny your diamond is by looking at the average session duration in Google Analytics that tells you how long people are staying on your website and my average session duration is always going up slowly slowly that means people come to your website they look at one page and think oh that's interesting let me click that they go to another page they watch a video they stay on your website try and have your average session duration as long as you can three or four minutes is a fantastic average session duration you've got to ask yourself when was the last time I spent three or four minutes on a website you probably didn't on very many websites, right? So again, go through your website, try and polish it, polish it, polish it, get your diamond so sparkly that people are drawn to it like moths to a flame. Guys, if I can help you any more, please reach out by the link above or below. I'm happy to chat with you today. Good luck, stay safe, thanks very much.